Wild dogs are efficient pack hunters. Typical quarry includes 25 kilogram impala, but pound for pound, a far smaller prey puts up a fight that blows away wildlife guide Mark Tennant and his guest, Lisa Marsden, at a game reserve in Botswana. I used to follow this pack of wild dogs. They would go hunting in the early evening. All of a sudden, one dog dashes off. And I get my spotlight, and in the distance, I see a little Salu's mongoose. And he hasn't picked up the dogs. They managed to surround him. Now he had to fight for his life. Each dog weighs 12 times more than the mongoose. And now, this small creature is outnumbered six to one. He's desperately looking for a way to get out. He's squealing, he's screaming, he's making the most dramatic noises. You close your eyes and you think, I can't watch this. In the 12 years that I've been working on African wild dogs, I've never seen them interacting with the mongoose in this way. Suddenly, one of the dogs lunges forward. But the mongoose meets the attack with a bite to the face. And you can hear the dog squealing, and the mongoose knows this is his big chance. He's going to hang on for dear life. And for that moment, I thought, there's hope. I was really clenching my fist. But warding off a half dozen attackers begins to take its toll. It was a heart-wrenching moment for me. I realized that his time was coming to an end. Hearing that little mongoose squealing for its life, it was very, very traumatic. Once the wild dogs have dispatched the mongoose, they then seem to take turns running around with the mongoose in their mouth. For me, it was a somber moment because I really wanted the mongoose to get away. It's one thing seeing it on your television, but it's another thing when you're doing it in reality. Those sort of things will stick with you for the rest of your life. 